Hey, St. John's family and friends, it's Pastor Brady, and this is your Friday COVID-19 inspiration moment. And this is Friday, May 29th, 2020. If you remember earlier in the week, if you watched our midweek devotion, I talked about the descending gifts of the Holy Spirit. We had that symbol of the dove behind me, you know, the symbol of the Holy Spirit coming upon us. And we know this week, this Sunday, we celebrate Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles. They were able to understand the different languages. They were able to take forth the truth of Jesus Christ unto so many different people. We call that day of Pentecost the birthday of the church. The church really began there and it began to spread from there. And so many would then come to the truth and the light, which is Jesus. So that brings me to that word I just said, light, because the dove, the descending dove is not the only symbol of the Holy Spirit. Remember, we had the red paraments um, behind me in the midweek devotion. The symbol of red represents fire or flame or light, because when we talk of the Holy Spirit, we think of the flame of the Holy Spirit. And today I want to talk to you about feeling those descending gifts upon you figuring out how you're supposed to use them. Remember, as I said earlier in the week, respecting the diversity and the many gifts that we all have, and then using them individually and collectively as God's holy church for his righteous purpose. Once we feel those gifts upon us, it's time for us to feel that flame burning within us. It's time for us to see that light, which is Jesus. It's time for us to get fired up. Maybe you've never asked this question, but why do we light candles in the church? And different churches do it different ways. Why do we light altar candles? Well, we take that flame to represent the presence of God. And not just the presence of God or just the presence of Jesus or the light of Christ, but the light and flame and fire of the Holy Spirit amongst us. On Sunday, I'll, I'll light this red candle, which represents, of course, Pentecost with the red and the flame. But we always light the candles on the altar. We always do that to symbolize the presence and light of Christ. At the end of the service, we often out in the candles, but leave one lit as the acolyte will take the flame from the altar. That symbolizes all of us as we go forth from the church. We're supposed to take that fire and that flame and that light with us day by day. We're supposed to bask in the gifts of the Spirit and use them to the glory of God. So in the weeks to come, when we start to come out of this pandemic, my question for you is, are you fired up in the Holy Spirit? Do you feel those gifts upon you that only the gifts that the believer truly has, you know, only the gifts that we get from Jesus Christ, from God, those gifts that teach us how to love, how to have grace, how to have forgiveness, that give us the wisdom of truth, which is only found in our God. Do we have those gifts? But even more so, if we know, we believe, and feel we have them, do we get fired up and do we use them? And as we come through the pandemic, as maybe we're able to start meeting in our churches again soon, maybe some have already begun that, and hopefully St. John's will be able to soon. And as we come through things with precautions and with safeties in place, will we still feel fired up? As we rejoin our church families in person or physically, will that fire remain? I have seen some of that light while we have been separated. But oh, how much stronger the light should be once we're back together. We need to let that light shine through us. We need to get fired up and we need to use the gifts that God has given us. Don't let your light go out. Do not let the light of Christ that is within you be extinguished by the world around us. I know right now in this very day, our television screens are filled with unrest in a Midwestern city because of a, a very terrible crime that happened to an individual. But more crime is being fed by that, more division, more unrest, and it's lessening the love and filling that void with hate and fear. 
We have to get rid of that fear. We have to get rid of that hate. We have to show each other what love means. We have to use the gifts of the Spirit. We have to let our light shine. Don't put it out, but raise it high so others know you have the flame of the Holy Spirit, so others know that you are fired up for Jesus Christ. Let us be fired up day by day and moving forward. May God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend.